Hi everyone, welcome back to Flourish Field. This is a scratch tutorial for absolute beginners and I'm very sure that you're going to create your first project at the end of this video. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to create a conversation between a sprite and another sprite. All right, so then let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to clear off your play area. Now this is the block area. This is the area where you get your code. This is the code area or the script area. And that is where you drop your instructions, right, as you can see right here. And um, this, this right here is the play area. Uh, that is where your instructions are being executed. And uh, this is the costume area. This is where you actually change, paint, and add backdrops and sprites to your project. Now, the first thing you want to do is to give a project a name and uh, a title, sorry, and you could call it The Conversation, something that tells the purpose of your project. I always advise that you give your project a name um, that tells the project, that, that tells the purpose of the project. So now you press enter. Now, the way we want to have it is that we will select a backdrop was easy peasy just select any backdrop of your choice um, I'm gonna pick anyone so I'm gonna pick bricks pick any backdrop of your choice I think I'll pick that and I'm going to select my sprites so to do that I'm just gonna pick any sprite of my choice I could pick Avery and Peak. Devin. Now the good thing about this is that you can apply this concept to any topic. So I'm going to be speaking on a different topic, but you can actually apply it anywhere, okay, in your project. So now we want to have a conversation between two sprites. And that the first thing you need to do is to ensure that the both of the sprites are facing each other. Now, as we can see, Avery is looking at this direction. So that means that Devin needs to turn to this direction. To do that, you click on Devin and then you click on an event called when flag is clicked. And the first thing you want to do is to tell it to point to this direction. So click on motion and then scroll down to point in direction and then you want it to point in towards this direction all right so when you click on flag now oops but it's turning upside down so you need to change the orientation of the turning also to left and right so it says setting the rotation style should be left and right so when I click on my flag right now uh -huh. so now our sprite already for a conversation we're going to make this as simple as possible we can improve on it later but for now i just want to make it so simple and straightforward all right now how do we start a conversation now what we want to do is that when i click on this slug i want avery to say something and after avery is done Devin would say will reply every and then they keep going like that and that's how to have a conversation now I created some videos I created a video some years ago and um, I created a conversation using timers but we're not going to be using that in this video we're going to be using broadcast all right now to use broadcast it's as simple as we we start with Avery and then we say when flag is clicked we want Avery to say something now to do that you just select the event say when flag is clicked now when flag is clicked I want Avery to start the conversation now to start a conversation you click on looks and then you say hello it's as simple as that so Avery is going to say hello so now when I click on the flag right now Avery says hello but now we're not done we want Devin to say hi you understand know and then probably Devin would actually reply by also saying how are you 
So now to do that, we need to introduce what we call broadcast. And that is the reason why we are creating this project. We want to have a conversation between two sprites using broadcast. Now to do that, you click on control, uh, on events, sorry, and then you scroll down to this broadcast. Now we'll explain the difference. Now this first one, this broadcast I see would send message while this would receive. So now if I want to send message that, okay, every is done talking, every is done saying hello, I could just say broadcast and I'm going to say what? Devin can respond. You see? Now what that means is that I am done talking. Devin, you can respond. So I've sent the message. If Devin wants to respond, you click on Devin and then you want the Devin to catch that message. So you go back to same events and you scroll down to what when I receive Devin can respond. You see that? And I'm going to say what? Hi. Hi. Now, but watch this, because every is speaking for two seconds, I would advise that Devin waits for two seconds before replying. All right? Aha, uh -huh. so that should work. Now, let's check it out and see. So when I click on the flag right now, it says hello. And then Devin should say hi. That is how to create a conversation between two sprites using broadcast. I'm going to show you one more step and then I'll leave you to create a very long conversation. And then you can actually share your your links with me. Let me see what you come up with. All right. So now let's go again. So now Devin said hi. And then maybe maybe we want Devin to say hi. So what's your name? You understand? So we're going to go to Luke's. We're still on Devin, still when Devin receives that. And then we're going to say, hi. And then we say, how are you? Now, we're saying that for two seconds. And then after saying that, we want to broadcast another message. Remember what I mean by broadcasting. So we want to send a message. Now, the message will be different. We're going to create a new message by saying what? Every can respond. And then you click on OK. Now, this means that what? After executing I, how are you? Now, we're broadcasting another message saying what? Every can respond. Now, to receive that message, you click on every and then you select a new event that says what? when i receive every can respond now that's so now every can now wait for two seconds again i hope that's not too long wait for two seconds again and then oh i wrote 22 two seconds and then reply by saying i'm fine thank you so now to say that you just go to save log and then you type in what i'm fine Thank you. That could be for three seconds. And then you could say again, how about you? How about you? Now, let's check our work and see. So now when I click on flag, this will be executed. You see, hello. And then he's going to reply by saying, hi. How are you? She's going to reply by saying, I'm fine, thank you. How about you? Now, what do you think would be the next step if Devin wants to reply, Avery? I need you to pause this video and um, try and do that before you check on this. All right? So now, welcome back. If you said, that we should go back to 
event and broadcast another message You're correct so we're going to broadcast another message a new message and this time around is going to be Devin can respond to so that's the second response you see that and then you click on OK now you can see how we're using broadcast to create a conversation now you say what Devin can respond to so now we go back to Devin click on Devin and then we're going to catch that by saying what when I receive Devin can respond to you need to be careful right there so that you don't mix it up and then now we want to reply whatever you ask is it how about you said I'm fine also thank you so now that's what we wanted to do but you have to wait for two seconds also so that we don't interrupt what if you're saying so you're going to click on I'm fine also um also fine thank you understand you could now ask a question say uh, what's your name what is your name do you understand so uh, the that's the story keeps going like that and then you would see that your two sprites are having a lovely conversation so that is how to create a conversation using scratch I hope I have been able to help you with this video um, if you have any question you have comments or you have any um, addition you can actually use the comment section below and I'll be glad to reply you now let's check it out before I say bye bye all right, so when I click on my flag right now, it says hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. About you, how about you? I'm also fine, thank you. What's your name? You understand? So now, what do you think would be the next step? I want you to create a very long conversation and... Um, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, until then, bye.